point, we're going to bring him in now. Let's listen to what the superintendent has to say. To not only allow them to demonstrate in this way, but also to be a part of it. Look, if we respect the voice of kids, if we respect the sanctity of their lives, then you ought to walk uh, shoulder to shoulder, eye to eye, hand to hand with them. And that's exactly what I want to show this community. We love our kids. We want to protect our kids. We ought to be with them every step of the way. Superintendent, what do you, what do you think of all these thousands of students that are coming out, making their voices heard? It is heartwarming. Uh, it inspires in me the belief that tomorrow shall be better because of them. It uh, reinforces my belief that they are bright, they are reasonable, they are aware, they are forceful, and they are not to be ignored. That's why I stand with them. What are the sort of changes you'd like to see uh, within schools in your Look, I think Florida recently adopted some uh, pretty historic uh, legislative changes, uh, increasing the age uh, that you must be to purchase a gun from 18 to 21 imposing a three-day cooling-off period, providing law enforcement additional powers uh, to remove guns from those who are not mentally fit. But I think we need to go uh, beyond that at the national level. We need to really have a conversation about the need for automatic weapons in the streets of our country. I don't think we need that. Uh, we need to curtail and, and bring back some degree of reason specific to this craze uh, that we as Americans have over guns. And we ought to make a choice. And the choice is now, and the choice is inspired by our kids. Superintendent Alberto Carvalho, thank you. Thank you so much. And the 